Okay, so we, we're going to fix that trunk lid on the 32 Ford. We're going to take care of that, and we're going to show you our idea for fixing this. Is it the right way to do it? No. There is probably hundreds of different ways of doing this. This is just the way I kind of came up with, so we'll show you what we're going to be talking about here. Okay, so we're doing something that we rarely do here, and that is measure things. So um, I've got, I was kind of curious about this because looking at this with a little bit of a pencil mark in there, looking at that line, I'm going, you know what? That's just actually crooked. That's not really a mold issue. That's, that's just kind of done crookedly. So um, by favoring this line here, I just figured that one was going to be the more correct one. So we took a measurement across the top there and came out to be approximately... We're going to say that's about 39 millimeters across there. So we went down to the bottom and uh, we measured it and it is coming out to be, let's see if we can do this on camera really well here, almost 40, almost 40 millimeters across the bottom there. So we gain a millimeter from top to bottom. Now, what made me think about this, measuring this, is uh, the house that I live in, <laughs> where the tops of the door frames are not the same distance apart as the bottoms of the door frames. And it's like that through the entire house. So anyway, I digress. Now, what do we do for this little line right here? That's already, I've already done a little bit of scribing in there. That's when I realized, hey, listen, hey, this is, that, that doesn't look very good. So uh, we're going to use a very, very thin piece of styrene rod that we have. This thing is like kitty whiskers. So uh, we're going to, I'm just going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to lay that down inside there and put our thumbs in the way so you can't see anything. And then we're going to cement that in there with some Tamiya cement. And we're going to make sure that that gets all nice and in there good. And then, you know, just sort of pack it in there as best we can. And then let that cure up and then come back. And then shave it down, file it down, get it to get it nice and smooth, sort of sort of make that line go away. And if we do a good enough job, we might not even need any putty to help fill in anything. So, um, so we're going to try that. We're going to do that technique there. And then, once that is fully uh, cured up, we need to mimic this score line. And we can take measurements from the sides in, and we can do this, and we can get telemetry from space and all kinds of cool stuff. But no, we're going to go with a good old-fashioned compass, right? A drafting compass. So, uh, we already have the, the width set that we like, okay? So we have the width set, and then we just follow this down. We're going to do that a couple of times. And we can see it's already starting to leave a little bit of a ghost of pen. the pencil lead in this stuff is hard. Uh, I should know it's been around. I think I got it's been passed down from generation to generation in my family here. So there. See that difference? I know that's a little bit faint still, but you see that difference there? Uh, yeah. So it's like, wow. All right. How are you going to go and score that line now, Brian? I hear you asking out loud. Well, I'll tell you. Um, I was thinking we could take a piece of tape and lay that on there and we could score against the tape or maybe uh, maybe maybe this guy here would have enough enough uh, flex in him to go around that curve and sort of follow that. That sounds like a lot of trouble. So we're just going to turn it over <laughs> and then just ever so lightly. I'm seeing a little I can feel it biting into the plastic and there's a little curl of plastic on there. So I'm like, cool. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do some scribes on this side here like that. Once we get everybody all filled in and, and sanded down. So that is going to be how we're going to fix this trunk lid. All right. So we have moved on to the next day now. Uh, let this cure up really nicely overnight. And uh, came back this morning and uh, just sort of uh, sanded and, and just sort of... Uh, gone over everything with our little scraper from school wadron um i don't know if these are being sold under a different name now but they are pretty sweet 
anyway, I digress. Um, let's see if we can get some some light on the situation, uh, situation there. So we'll get the sheen there. I did polish up the plastic a little bit to see if there was any super deep scratches. Uh, we did go over this with a thick coat of the Tamiya primer in the jar, and uh, that covered up everything. And the, so all the dark lines and stuff you see in there, that's actually the primer left behind. Uh, we're going to do one more coating of that and then a nice a nice light sanding to see how we're doing and uh, we'll go on from there but yes we are very we're moving quite along uh, moving along on this quite well uh, as we can see we did do we're going to point this out here very very carefully uh, that we did come around the corner here because we had about a millimeter of width that had to get filled down in there so hopefully that will be wide enough if not, we can dig that a little bit and uh, make it look pretty. But yeah, I uh, just decided to, to follow uh, and, and just parallel these this line on this side here on the passenger side. So everybody's looking hunky-dory so far. Um, but I'm thinking, while doing all this work, should we open the trunk? Ah, that is a very cool question. I I, I like that. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I was looking at the, the underside of this. There is not much space there for a hinge barrel. So we're, we're looking at it. We're not 100% sure on it, but we're looking at it. And I must say thank you to everybody for your, your comments and your support and, and your, your votes of confidence because that was very, very touching. I appreciate that very much. Um, it was almost like uh, equal equal thirds. It was like some of the guys like smooth the whole thing out which is a great idea because you know we got like almost half of that done <laughs> and then some guys are like you can fix it and then some guys were like, and, and like a third of the guys are like hey you know what if it's not going to really bother you that much and you're not going to be doing a contest with it just let it go because it's really honestly not that bad but i was like you know i really want to take a whack at it i really want to just sort of push my envelope of my skills here and see where we can go with that so so yeah we're trying it out so thanks everybody for for the comments and stuff. All right, we're going to get on to slathering this with some of the uh, the Tamiya. Um, I think I have it right here, right. There we go. The surface primer. We're going to slather a thick coat of that on there, and then let that set up, and then sand it down. And see how we did. So then we'll get back to you in a little bit. And so the story continues of priming and sanding, priming and sanding, priming and sanding. So um, I'm liking how that looks. I really feel that this is looking good um, to the point where I'm going to go ahead and move on to scribing the correct line because I really think that we're going to cut this lid off of here and have it open up. I, I'm really liking that idea. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start scribing on that other piece, uh, you know, the, the, the other line there, and then go ahead and take that all the way through and open it up. Uh, the reason why I'm going to hold off finishing this area off completely is because inevitably we're going to like stray off or, you know, kind of, uh, you know, fall out of the groove or something like that. So uh, I might as well fix all those mistakes, uh, air, you know, air quotes, all those mistakes uh, at the same time I'm finishing off this area here. So we're going to go ahead and go through with that. We are going to use our our handy dandy compass and uh, go ahead and, and do some scoring and then once that line is heavy enough to to, to feel with a thumbnail um, we're going to switch over to something I always like using some little razor saws to help finish off that line all right so we're going to check back in a little bit on how well that went okie doke so um you want to see the see the the uh the carnage look at that that's just and this is even cleaned up a little bit but um yeah so we finally got all the way through the trunk lid this is a very thick piece of plastic i was a little surprised but uh, this is very very rudimentary we've been working with our hinge setup and uh we just have it kind of tacked in place right now and yeah i have an arrow on there because i kept putting the trunk lid on backwards when I was trying to do my uh, test fitting and stuff but uh, we haven't cleaned up all all the way around yet and we're going to put in like a, uh, a drip rail drip rail is it a drip rail I don't know uh, a little a little seal type of thing around the the, the inside of there but uh, right now we're just trying to work on our hinge geometry I was never very good at that in school and I'm still not today 
Um, but uh, we're, we're just kind of fussing with it right now. Everything's just a mock-up stages. Nothing is glued yet, thank goodness, because apparently my my geometry is wrong. But um, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is only the second time I've ever actually hinged a deck lid before. But yeah, look at look at how thick this is. I don't even think the fiberglass bodies were that thick. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, um, I'm liking where we're going with this. So this is pretty cool. I was actually considering doing a rumble seat. But then I thought, nah. Nah, we'll do a trunk. So so there we go. It doesn't fit too badly. We're going to file and sand it all down a little bit more. But yeah, I like, I like how it's looking. So yeah. Um, and it's looking... Uh, a lot more symmetrical it has to look more symmetrical because i'm sort of stuck with it but yeah <laughs> i i like it i like it a lot we're going to clean up all the little scratches and stuff like i said we were going to you know drift off a little bit here and there and i almost nodded off about once or twice myself but uh we drifted off a little bit here and there and i uh, kind of went a little bit long on some on some scoring cuts and everything so we're gonna putty that all up and then um get onto it but i think for now, we're going to take a break for the for for now, and then kind of come back to the the, the hinge geometry a little bit later on.